Turn to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my lowliness and suffering. Take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr St. Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently profess it by our deeds through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from who you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, Lord, great great peace have have they who who love love your law. law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, great peace have have they who love your your law. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, great peace have have they who love love your law. law. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. O Lord, Lord, great great peace peace have they who love your law. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. O Lord, Lord, great great peace peace have they who love your law. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. O Lord, great great peace have they who love your law.
Lord be with you. With your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus had to uh, continually face controversies about who he was. And one of the things about the Messiah was that he was supposed to be a descendant of David. Now, mind you, King David had lived 900 years prior to that time. If you go back into our own history, uh, go back to the time of Abraham Lincoln, which is nowhere near 900 years ago, he doesn't have one living male descendant. And, And many family trees will end. They don't go on for 900 years. Uh, the, this, the second item about the, the, the lineage, well, number one, it was an amazing thing that David had all these descendants. Uh, but the second aspect, which actually makes it more baffling, uh, at least to the people of the time, was they didn't really know where, where Jesus was from. And had they known that his mother was a virgin and conceived him virginally, then that would have been another issue because uh, the, ma- the descent always went through the male line, so we, how could Jesus have fulfilled the prophecy? The way it worked out was that um, because uh, his legal father, that is to say the adoptive father was St. Joseph, who, who was a descendant of David, so it does fulfill the line. Uh, now, uh, having said all that, um, People had the wrong idea of, of the Messiah in the sense that they were expecting somebody just like David to come along, a great military leader or whatever, and uh, it didn't work out that way. Jesus came into the world, um, went, I should say when he came into the world, he brought God down to our level in order to raise us up. He came into the world to give us a new life, uh, not simply to change the the. Uh, political order or get rid of the Roman overlords or whatever the, whatever the issues were of the day. So today's feast um, is connected with the, our on, the ongoing need for Jesus of, of every generation is uh, St. Boniface. He was a Catholic bishop. Now imagine today a, a, a bishop confirming people. I mean, we, we generally have bishops coming here you know, over the years to confirm and uh, the confirmation being broken up and the bishop being killed. I mean, it would, be a, it would be an unbelievable thing to have to deal with. This is what happened with St. Boniface. And, and he and over 50 of, of his uh, fellow uh, practicing Catholics were killed because of what they stood for. Uh, Boniface uh, was something like uh, St. Patrick to the Irish. He was to the Germans. He was not a German himself. He was a missionary from England. But he did such fine work uh, missionizing the German people that the Pope made him into a bishop in order to organize the church in Germany. Today, the church in Germany is in great disarray with the head of the uh, uh, bishop's conference uh, promoting uh, so-called same-sex unions. I mean, that's an abomination, utter abomination. The church in Germany is completely infected with the spirit of the world. Now, this is the point that St. Boniface stood up against the spirit of the world. In fact, he chopped down the sacred oak tree that the people worshipped. Our ancestors worshipped trees and stars and rocks. That's false religion. Today, what do people worship? Power, pleasure, money, career, all of these things. I mean, these things aren't bad things in, in the right order and perspective, but we can't live for them. We have to live for the true God. So one of the reasons the church... Um, has people go to Mass on a regular basis, which you know, normally would be every Sunday, although now there's a dispensation, but that you know, will be lifted at some point. And so people don't fall into forms of false worship. 
False worship doesn't necessarily mean kneeling down in front of a tree and worshiping the tree. I mean, it could be in some cultures. But in our culture, it really has to do with living a life of complete secularism in, in most cases. People who live that way are, are not living the way that God wants them to live. Now, having said all that, it is possible for somebody to go to church regularly but be very much infected by the spirit of the world. That's not good either. So we have to be very careful. We live in a very worldly culture, which will, um, you know, it, it'll ambush people if, if they're not aware of it. Put the true God first, live accordingly, according to what he wants, uh, turn away from sin, and be careful about the world. The world has strange ideas because the world resists God. So when Jesus was making his last prayer, his so-called high priestly prayer in John 17, he said that he did not pray for the world. No, it doesn't mean he doesn't like the world. That isn't the point. And he does, he does pray for people's conversions. But in the sense that you know, his followers, meaning you know, we ourselves and many others, are supposed to make a difference in the world, the world will never go, convert over to Jesus or the true God unless you know, we ourselves are, are help in that regard through our prayers, our encouragement, invitation, and other things. Pray the rosary on a regular basis. We're praying for us sinners. The French say, pray for us poor sinners, indeed. So the Blessed Mother can be a big help to people in helping our society to recover its sanity. Because without God, people start, in a sense, go insane. If you lose your faith, you lose your mind. This is what's happening in our world. So we ask the dear Lord that we, that the true spirit of, of religion will be practiced among as many people as possible, that we can, and through this way, help to convert the world, that many people will be saved, and that our society will not go down because of godlessness. We need God very much, every day. Everybody needs him. The one true God manifested in the Son, Jesus. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us turn to our Father who hears our prayers. Please use the response, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church, all of our leaders, our bishops and priests, and for all the laity, that they might grow in understanding how the Spirit is working in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country for our leaders, we pray for the rest of the world and for all their leaders, that they might enact just laws that uphold human dignity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For all those who suffer unjust, uh, unjust discrimination and attacks against human dignity, especially by way of abortion, euthanasia, human trafficking, and all forms of abuse. We pray to the Lord. Lord, prayer. For all the poor and all the sick, all those suffering in our world, especially those suffering during this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, prayer. And we pray for the intention of this Mass, for Lisa Sandoval. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing for the sacrifice of the Mass to take place th throughout the world in different locales, whether in public or in private, or recorded brought to the people that way. And uh, for all the graces that come from the Mass, uh, we pray for a return to the, true sp to the spirit of true worship among people everywhere, and for the conversion of sinners, and that for, the, for the perseverance in the faith. Uh, we pray these things through your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be, be done, on earth, earth as it is, as in, it is in heaven. Give we us this day our daily, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy, mercy on, on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. So again, for our communion, wait for the usher to give you the signal to come out and come up to the, either this side, if you're on this side of the church, or the other side. And to stand at the red line, the priest will say, or Chris will say, the body of Christ, amen. Hold your hands out. Actually, pull your mask down. Hold your hands out. Take the Eucharist. So I should say, take the Eucharist, step to the side, pull your mask down, and then put the Eucharist in your, in your mouth.
body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, Lord, we pray. Those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. Do thou, Prince, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into, into hell of Satan all the evil spirits, prowl about, about the world, world seeking the ruin of souls. souls. 